Hey everyone, it's a great day in sports analytics. I'm Victor Holman, sports analytics expert, and welcome to the sports analytics three minute drill, where I break down sports analytic methods and explain how they're being used today in the world of sports. Today I'm gonna to discuss conditional probability, and more specifically, conditional probability and how it's applied in sports analytics today. And remember, this method, as well as all other methods, can be integrated into the Agile Sports Analytics framework and model in order to achieve the optimal scoring profiles for athletes so they can execute the coach's game plan and help win games. And remember, if you find this video informative, please like the video or subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. Probability is defined as a measure of how often a particular event will take place if the experiment occurs repeatedly. Probability ranges from 0 to 1. 0 indicates that the event is impossible, and 1 indicates that the event definitely will occur. The higher the probability, the more likely it is that the event will transpire. Applying Conditional Probability to Sports Analytics Probability relates to all past experiences or occurrences of that sequence. However, it is often useful to narrow down the situation to include only those with specific criteria. Instead of simply looking at the probability of a baseball team winning a game, you may want to know the probability of the New York Yankees winning when Aaron Judge hits a home run. In this case, you would use conditional probability. Conditional probability is a measure of the probability of an event happening given that another event has occurred. Conditional probability allows us to add extra conditions to the scenario we want to explore. Conditional probabilities are very helpful as they allow us to include additional information or assumptions into the calculation. They provide information pertinent to a more specific event rather than simply a general event. However, you must be careful when determining which information to use or the conditional probability may show a relationship between two events that are completely independent, meaning they have no effect on each other. You might look at the probability of the Seattle Mariners winning a game when Edwin Diaz is in the bullpen. The probability would then be inaccurate as having Edward Diaz in the bullpen does not mean that he necessarily will pitch in the game. And if he did not pitch, he would have no effect on whether or not the Mariners won. Analysts can use conditional probability in a myriad of ways. They can look at how any player or event can affect the outcome of a game or the likelihood of a player scoring in a given situation. This analysis gives them the capability to rank the effectiveness each player has in a given situation. The information can be used when looking at possible trades or draftees. Which of the available players would have the greatest likelihood of scoring for their new team? This information helps determine which players would be the best choices to improve the weak spots in the team's roster. Coaches can use conditional probability to help determine their lineup for any specific game. A baseball coach can use conditional probability to determine the likelihood of each of his players scoring a run when facing the scheduled pitcher. It also helps in deciding when to put a designated hitter or designated runner into the game in order to increase their probability of scoring in a given scenario and improving the team's chances of winning a game. And that's conditional probability applied in sports analytics in three minutes. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app. If you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon. And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.